greetings of the day i asha k assistant professor sai vidya institute of technology going to present in today's class dsp algorithm and architecture seventh semester elective course 17 ec 751 in this module we are going to discuss about the implementation of basic dsp algorithms in this we have introduction q notation concepts and problems on q notation and also we have in this module fir filters ir filters interpolation filters and decimation filters let us discuss about the example 1 represent the following numbers in q7 and q15 format the first number that we have here is 3246 hexadecimal in q7 format consider the 3246 number with the help of 8421 code representation convert each hexadecimal number into binary number as here and after conversion of hexadecimal to binary in 4 bit representation since it is a q7 format after 7 binary bits place a decimal point and convert this into normal decimal representation with the help of the weightage and power of 2 we are going to get here so we will be having here this is 2 to the power minus 1 bit and here it is 5th bit minus 5th bit and here it is 6th bit so when we convert here what we are going to get 1 into 2 to the power 6 here it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 this is the position so 1 into 2 to the power 6 1 into 2 to the power 5 and 1 into 2 to the power 2 and with the fractional part 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power of minus 5 1 into 2 to the power of minus 6 after simplification we are going to get 100.546875 in decimal representation similarly we have the next number 3264 in q15 format consider the number convert that into binary representation then place a decimal point after 15 binary bits convert that into decimal representation and after converting that into decimal representation we are going to get here 0.39367675 in decimal number format this is the solution to represent the following number 32 46 in q7 format and 3264 hexadecimal in q15 format example 2 represent the number n is equal to d0b5 hexadecimal in q15 format first consider the number convert that into binary representation in from binary representation we have here the most significant bit as 1 since the most significant bit as 1 it is a negative number subtract that is d0 b5 hexadecimal number from ff f f hexadecimal after subtraction we are going to get here 2f 4a hexadecimal number that is f minus 5 that is 15 minus 5 is 10 10 in hexadecimal is a f minus b that is 15 minus 11 4 f minus 0 15 minus 0 is 15 f only and f minus d f is 15 and d here is 13 15 minus 13 is 2 2 f 4 a is the subtraction of d 0 b 5 from f f f f hexadecimal number convert this into a decimal number system we are going to get 12106 it is nothing but 2 into 16 to the power 3 plus 15 into 16 square plus 4 into 16 to the power 1 plus 
10 into 16 to the power 0. After obtaining this particular number, what we are going to do here is, we are going to multiply the number that is 12106 with 2 to the power minus 15. We are going to get the answer that is minus 0 0.3694458. Why this minus we are appending here is we have the most significant bit of this particular D0B5 as 1. Hence, it is a negative number. Hence, we are appending here minus in Q15 notation. Represent the following number minus 0 0.1958 in Q15 format. Consider the whole number 0 0.1958 then since it is in Q15 representation divide by 2 to the power minus 15. It is nothing but equal to 0 0.1958 into 2 to the power of 15 multiplication. We are going to get the answer 6416 in decimal. Convert that into hexadecimal we are going to get 1910 hexadecimal. Since the negativeness of this number is present while conversion, we are going to subtract the hexadecimal number 1910 from FF FF hexadecimal. After subtraction, we are going to get the answer E6 EF hexadecimal. F minus 0 that is 15 minus 0 is 15. F minus 1 that is 15 minus 1 that is 14 f minus 9 that is 15 minus 9 is 6 and f minus 1 that is 15 minus 1 it is 14 this is the number in q15 format representation example 4 represent the number 3.125 in q7 representation the Q7 format of 3.125 is equal to 3.125 divided by 2 to the power minus 7. That is nothing but equal to 3.125 into 128. That is nothing but equal to 400 a decimal number system. Convert that into hexadecimal. We are going to get 190 hexadecimal. Example 5. Represent the number minus 0 0.3125 in Q15 format. Consider the number 0 0.3125 and multiply into 2 to the power 15. We are going to get the answer 10,240 decimal number system. Convert that into hexadecimal 2800 hexadecimal. Basically, it is a positive number. But the given number is negative, introduce negativeness to this particular number. Hence, subtract this 2800 from FFFF hexadecimal. We are going to get the answer D7 FF hexadecimal. F minus 0 is F. F minus 0 is F. F minus 8 that is 15 minus 8 is 7. Then F minus 2 that is 15 minus 2 is 13. 13 in hexadecimal is D. D755 is equivalent to 0 0.3125 number in case of Q15 format representation. To prepare the content in this particular presentation, the textbook referred is this and the reference books referred are the following. Thank you all.